do you have vegetables in your refrigerator that you're not using fast enough and you have no idea what to do with them well this morning i'm gonna make for you a breakfast smoothie so i have the spring mix and i have some frozen bananas almond milk i have spirulina and i also have banana so first i'm gonna start out by washing my vegetables these vegetables are starting to go bad a little bit so before they do i want to make sure i use them up because i hate wasting stuff so thank you for watching this video don't forget like comment and subscribe and share with your friends so i'm going to go ahead and wash these vegetables thoroughly change my water wash them again and i just keep washing them until i feel satisfied that they're clean enough and i get rid of the ones that are actually going bad because those will float to the top of my water as i fill this up i use my strainer so that it's easy for me to you see how cloudy the water is so i'm just gonna go ahead go ahead and change my water and as i was saying before i use a strainer so that it's easier for me to just um separate the vegetables from the water you know what i mean yeah so i'm just gonna wash 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 before i start this breakfast smoothie You can have anything you want in your smoothie. Make it your own. My choice this morning is just some walnuts. Walnuts, I don't know. I like the flavor that they give my, my smoothie. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything in my blender cup right here. So I'm going to start with my vegetables to the bottom of my cup. Then I'm going to go in with my banana. So this is one frozen banana and I'm going to use two. So I'm going to use one that's already frozen and another regular banana. Make sure your bananas are fully ripe. I'm going to go in with uh, some walnuts and I just eyeball stuff when I'm making my smoothie. I just put... I don't measure so you can put according to your liking i'm gonna put a teaspoon of spirulina this is a half teaspoon measurement so i'm gonna go in two times Then I'm just going to put some milled flaxseed. Now I'm just peeling my other banana and put it in and make sure your banana is fully ripe. Because your banana is what's going to sweeten your smoothie. Because you don't need to put honey or sugar or anything. When your banana is fully ripe, that's, you, that's how you get your sweetener. And then I'm just pouring in my milk up to the point where it says in my fill mark because i'm making enough for two servings so you just cover this up i'm gonna head out in a while so i'm just gonna bring mine with me and you blend away So I just grabbed two mason jars that I'm going to store my smoothies in. One's going to go in the fridge and the other one I am going to take with me on the road. And look at this. Folks, just look at this smooth, beautiful, green goodness that I'm pouring in these jars. Let me tell you, I don't want you to be intimidated by green smoothie or green juice. Just try them. Please try them. So as I wait for my friend, I decide to go ahead and have my smoothie. So this is me having it. And let me tell you, it was very delicious. It was filling. And this is another way to have your vegetables for... Because at times we can't eat enough vegetables that we're supposed to intake. Well, I'm speaking for myself, really. 
so this is a way that i take my vegetables in and i love enjoying drinking my vegetables so i want you to try this smoothie let me know what you think and um i in my opinion the almond the walnuts they just give it a nice flavor i'm getting everything even from the cover my friend got in the car so i was just talking with her for a little bit but i want you guys to try it let me know what you think go to the last drop don't forget to like comment and share and guys you know how much i love and appreciate every one of you what good until next time who knows what i'll be coming with next Mwah! love you